Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video what I'm showing you is the calendar auto function that is helpful in creating fiscal calendar. So in Power BI reports or Power BI dashboards, fiscal week, fiscal month, fiscal quarter is very important because every company follows a particular way of showing the fiscal, their fiscal year related information and uh, calendar auto function really provides a functionality that helps us create the date table that we can use for all the fiscal year related calculations and there are a couple of other uh, options or couple of other advanced thing which i will show you in this series so i have around uh, three to four videos in this so stay tuned for more and more information around the fiscal uh, fiscal calendar related all these calculation that will be very helpful for you once uh, once you implement in your uh, daily work with that uh, just a quick information about this sheet which you are viewing right now in front of you so the link of this sheet is present in the description what it has as you can see is the name of all my video tutorials that I have posted on YouTube and uh, the link is present in the column B the intention behind this is that you have access to all of the videos in a simple spreadsheet that way you can do the search easily and uh, jump to the particular video over here also filter it also you can create your own bookmark or also your, you can create your own list as to how you want to follow your uh, or uh, develop your learning as you see these videos so that's that's what it is make sure you bookmark this and uh, have it whenever you need it right with that let me go to the power bi okay so here we are into the power bi this is when this is the screen usually comes when you click uh, when you open the power bi or when you open it from the icon so what we're going to do is click on the get data so the get data is uh, here in excel workbook what workbook I am using is the Power BI Superstore Sales. So where you can find it, let me show it to you. So the link for my Google Drive is also present there in the description. So what you have is, as you can see, different folders. Within that, you have the Power BI folder. Once you go inside the Power BI, you get this Power BI Superstore sheet that you can download and use it along with this uh, video that I'm showing you. So here I am back with the Power BI. So I am clicking on Open and open will going to obviously open the sheet right nothing fancy or nothing dramatic so with that what you get is the sheet right sheet one similarly you will going to get the sheet one what you will going to get all of these different columns that you can use so click on load once you click on load um, it will basically start loading the data right you can see it is uh, creating that model that we can use and now it is loading the model so it will do all that processing uh, just to make sure that we get uh, the required data so now the table will start appearing over here the sheet one right so then you can go inside over here into the data view and look at your table what it has is the row id order id order date right now you have order date ship date as two dates but we want to create the fiscal date so for that uh, by using the calendar auto function for that we need to create a new table right so what this new table will going to do is let's say we call it fiscal calendar right so now here with the help of fiscal calendar we'll use the calendar auto so this is what you have so this is the name of the table calendar auto and this is where we just need to provide in which month your fiscal uh, year end month in which uh, what is that month by which a fiscal year ends so for example here in India uh, for government the fiscal year ends in March so what I'm saying is 3 right so you can choose whatever you want so for March 3 for Jan 1 for April 4 so on and so forth so as it is ending in March the 1st of April 2016 to all the way till 2021 is something what it has created right so what it does is basically looks at uh, your data set right over here so if you see in your second sheet the order date or the ship date is having these uh, dates right in four different years right so that's based on that from 2000 
17 to going all the way so third jan 2016 so that means so sorry 2017 that means it will land in the 2016 when it will be the fiscal converted into a fiscal year right same way you can go down till here in april 2020 that means the fiscal year is 21 right so it is smart enough to to basically take a reference from that that's what i could figure it out when calendar we were using the calendar auto starting from uh, 2016 to going all the way till the end of the fiscal year over here and gives us all the date not just all these dates but what i what it also gives you the date hierarchy that means the year quarter month and day but the problem with these is is that uh, these are the these are not the fiscal year or fiscal quarter these are these uh, calendar for example year will go into reference 2016 quarter will going to reference uh, april right so that is something which is a problematic i think even i can experiment it over here so for example what we have is the table right and uh, if i bring in the date over here you will see like this so that shows 2016 quarter one january one day one right so it's basically takes it the as the first year or first month over here which is which is really not the date that you are looking for so i'll show you in subsequent videos as to how you can calculate that and that will going to finish or that will going to build all the um, fiscal calculation that you need for your uh, power bi so stay tuned for that i'll be publishing more and um, giving you that example with that thank you so much that's the main thing i wanted to cover step by step so this is the step number one of using the calendar auto and how to use it now the step number two is we will look at let's say a fiscal year fiscal quarter and so on and so forth thank you so much for watching